Hi, this is Jen Lasser with Adobe Analytics Product Management. In this video, I'm going to show you some new features we've added for comparing date ranges within tables. If you've been a fan of the summary change visualization in the past and wanted that capability for tables, you're now in luck. So date comparisons are very helpful for putting current data in perspective with historical data. It's always recommended that you support current data with historical data, whether that be through a trend graph, a summary change visualization, or within tables via our date comparisons. Each option will give the reader of the report a better idea of what is good versus bad performance. So let's take this table for example. Here we're showing our marketing channels report for last week, and we've pulled in visits and orders by each of our, our channels. While this data is meaningful for last week, you may also want to answer the reader's next question of, well, is this data good or bad? Is it up or down compared to the prior week or this time last year? So we can add date comparisons in two ways, and this will help ad address that reader's next question. By right-clicking on any metric column, you have two options of add time period column and compare time periods. So let's start with add time period column. The, the options when you make that selection will be prior week, so this will give you kind of a week over week view, this week last year, which will give you year over year, and custom date range where you can choose your, your time period to compare to. Now these options will be different depending on what you've selected in your panel. So we've chosen last week in the panel, that's why we're getting week related time period comparisons. If we change this to last month, we're going to get some different options under our time period comparisons. So we'll have month over month, year over year, so same month last year, and again a custom date range. So I'm going to go ahead and add in prior month to this date range. Now add time period column will just add the prior month data, so just those raw numbers. So now we'll have November orders automatically added in compared to December's orders or last month's orders. So this is great. We can already kind of eyeball here and see that um, our direct channel is, is down a little bit this month. Um, same thing with referring domains and, and moving on down the list. Um, the next question that your, your reader's probably going to have though is, well, it, you know, instead of eyeballing all this, are the numbers just up or down? Like, give me the percentages. So rather than having them do the math, we can go and add in the, the percentages for them via compare time periods. Compare time periods will give you the same options as before. So I'll, I'll choose prior month to this date range again. Um, but instead of just adding the, the raw number column, it's also going to add and calculate for you the percent change. So we see the same November column from before. We have our last month December column here as well. And then we've calculated the percent change for you. Um, in addition to calculating the percent change, we've layered in conditional formatting. So you can very quickly see uh, if performance is, is down or, or up. So red indicates a decline across all the channels in, in terms of orders. The percent change is a, a complex calculated metric that we've created on your behalf. So you can click the little I here, see how it's been defined. It is a internal workspace metric meaning you won't see it in your calculated metric component list outside of this workspace. If you do want to leverage this outside of this particular workspace, you can make the metric public, and then subsequently you can share that public metric with others. Additionally, if you don't like the percent change name, you can always change that with a little pencil. This is again just a calculated metric that we've created for you, so you can add in uh, you know, month over month percent change if you want to make it a bit more descriptive. Clicking save, that name will be adopted back in the table. Um, one caveat I want to mention before I wrap up the video is that currently the date comparisons um, do not roll or, or work very nicely with our relative ranges. So while we've added this to a table that's toggled to last month, when we move to the next month of data, 
um, the comparison range is going to stay fixed on November. And as such, the month over month percent change will also stay fixed. So it, it renders it a, a little bit irrelevant uh, when the data or the panel moves to the next time frame. So just be, be careful about that. Um, you know, you'll need to re-add these percent changes uh, when you resend out a report um, for the time being. So we are actively working on addressing this and uh, allowing percent changes to uh, work better with your, your relative date ranges so that these reports can be scheduled and, and comparisons can always um, be added and be relevant. So we hope you found this video helpful and will adopt date comparisons in your workspaces moving forward.